I was sitting in a bar with my girlfriend at the time, and uh, she was like probably eight or nine months pregnant. She was huge. She was wearing a sundress, and she was she was smoking a cigarette and like drinking, and essentially like kind of went to her and I said, you know, it's really responsible. You know, you do what you need to do. I mean, I want to respect whatever kind of decision you make. And she just looked at me, and at that moment, like, like I just see this undulation underneath this like floral, awful print, like sundress that she had. My worst nightmare is being alone. That's why I love dogs and cats. Because they will always love you. And they'll never go away. Except when he takes them away. <laughs> Bastard! And this thing kind of came out from underneath it, and it was like, I mean, for lack of a better word, it, it resembled like a spider monkey, except it had like a zipper around its throat. And it was it was covered in gore. It was like clawing its way out, and it was like trailing this umbilical cord. It was nightmare is um when you know that TV series Elf. He um uh, he hit all his golf balls into my yard. And he went out and picked them up and I was sleeping and he popped in my room and just get the shit out of me. Really, it, I mean, it looked like a caricature of, of a monkey. But it started like clawing its way out and I'm thinking that like, it starts to chew on the umbilical cord. But like, I think it's chewing, but like, she's got this cigarette in her hand. And like, I realized like, that there's like billows of smoke coming out of her nose. And shitting myself in my pants. <laughs> I'm fucking a little scared of that. <laughs> and at that moment I realized he's smoking this umbilical cord like a hookah. It's like every breath he takes, like this, this big cloud of smoke comes out his nose. And um, in this grassy field running and there are these like pink puffballs with like razor sharp teeth chasing after me. And so like after being freaked out in this television, I'm running from these puffballs. And um, eventually I just keep running and running and running and running as fast as I could and as hard as I could, but eventually these puff balls would catch up to me and they'd start to eat me and I'd wake up right, right when they started chomping down every time. It, worst nightmare ever. I'm just, I'm just, I'm shocked beyond words and uh, I look at it and it says to me, you know, are you afraid of living, kid? My worst nightmare is these little, uh, Horse guys, and they pull you into uh, mouse holes, and they live in this big pit underground or like somewhere. No, <laughs> I don't know, but they're pretty scary when you're small. But also, uh, catheters in my penis, or like anything in my penis hole, are in the. <laughs> and it really scares the shit out of me. I was flying over snow. And it was moving up and down like this, and it was completely white. And on the distance I saw a dot, I kept coming closer and closer to it. I was flying over the snow, and I realized it was a woman dressed in a black dress. And then right when I came on top of it, it was me. And I had uh, cut my wrist so I was bleeding in the snow. And it's a reoccurring dream where I am a cartoon. I go from skinny to small to short and fat and my body doesn't feel like it's up. But I was scared shitless. I woke up and I pissed myself. I guess I had to use the restroom pretty badly. But I, I walked to the toilet and did my thing and then I woke up. I think I was eight years old. And I woke up and then mattress was soaked. And this is the scariest dream to me because of the fact that in reality this dream is just so damn real. Why is this happening to me? And then I wake up and say, that was scary. Sometimes. <laughs>